maybe you've got a bunch of devices now that were Windows 10, can upgrade them to Windows 11. Now, would it surprise you if I told you there are 400 million devices worldwide that are non-Windows 11 upgradable? No. There are. That's a lot. There are, yeah. So what's going to happen to those devices, right? They, they need a new operating system. Windows they 10 and the life. Uh, can't go to Windows 11. What are we going to do? Chrome OS Flex. Chrome OS Flex. It's basically like a Chromebook. It's a Chromebook software, mm-hmm. an operating system. But now you can bring it to almost any hardware. I know. Okay, but what is this thing? It's just a lightweight. It's basically, the back end is Linux. It's mm-hmm. just, I'm going to... Yeah. I'm going to tear it up and say it's like a tablet and a computer had a little baby and it made an OS. And that's yeah. Chrome OS Flex. And it, it, it ships like, uh, so this one by default, uh, it, it didn't have a terminal. So the first time, like when this is what I was doing yesterday is Tara was trying to do the dry run and I was poking around with this. Uh, you run the terminal and it's like, hey, that's actually not here by default. Do you want it? And you go say yes. And it downloads this little uh, Linux actual VM and container and it ships. Uh, with all kinds of fun things, like even Vim. Vim yeah. Vim's here. But, I mean, here's the down low. Uh, it's free. Uh, you can go to Google Store. There's a little yeah. little piece of software that you download, and it, it will make you a bootable flash drive. Yep. Uh, and then it, you can actually do it two different ways. You can make it the bootable flash drive, or you can run the utility, and it loads the OS, and mm-hmm. then you can boot to the flash drive should you want if you want to try it out, or you can just put it on your hard drive or your other piece of hardware there. It, it basically will run on any piece of hardware, as you already stated. And then it, you run it. It runs basically just web app. 